Hello, it's the TI-84 guy again. I wanted to do a few more problems and I wanted to show how um, a program that I've written called uh, Sequery uh, handles both geometric sequences and arithmetic sequences. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a couple problems and these problems are both taken from the blue book for the MAD uh, SAT Math Subject 2 Test. So um, let me just jump right in. <clears throat> the very first question that uh, I wanted to do is a number 18. And <clears throat> the question is, what is the sum of the infinite geometric se uh, series? Uh, and then they give us the first four terms. So the first term is 1 fourth uh, plus 1 eighth plus 1 sixteenth plus 1 thirty second. We're supposed to calculate with the with the sum of the infinite geometric sequence or series is so what I would do let me make sure I got this in the camera is I would turn it on first and then I would hit the program key and next I would press alpha and then the log natural log button and you should see and and then I have sequery from there I'm just going to press enter and then enter again now the very first prompt that you're going to see is one that's called variables. Basically, it's asking you, does this series have variables in it? In this case, it does not. They're just numbers. So we would choose option one, no. Next question it's going to ask you is, what kind of sequence or series are we dealing with? Are we dealing with the arithmetic sequence? Are we dealing with an arithmetic series? Are we dealing with a geometric sequence? Or are we dealing with a geometric series? In this particular case, we are dealing with an infinite geometric series. So we would choose option four. Okay, very first thing it's gonna prompt you for is what's the first term that you have? We have term number one, and the value of that term is one fourth. So I can either put one divided by four or I can put 0.25. So I'm gonna enter 0.25. Next term. Second term, I could, actually I could choose any of these terms, but I'm just going to go with the, the easiest one, which would be the next term, the second term. <clears throat> and then I would put in 1 divided by 8. If I knew what that was as a decimal, I could put that as, in as well. The very next prompt that you're going to see is it's going to ask you, what is the range of your series? Um, in this particular case, since it's an infinite uh, geometric series, my begin my range is going to be one to infinity. Now, there's no way there was no way for me to enter an infinity symbol. So what I've done is I coded the program to identify when it sees the number nine 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 in the end. Um, it knows that okay, I'm dealing with an infinite infinite geometric series. So what I would do is I would start by saying the range that we're looking for, we begin at one and we are going to end at 999. And again, the 999 indicates to the program that we're dealing with an infinite geometric series. So now once the program sees the 999, it knows, okay, I need to do, I need to do the sum over that range. And in this particular case, the sum of the infinite geometric series is one half, which is um, answer choice A. So that's pretty um, that's pretty straightforward application of the <coughs> Sequery program. But I wanted to show you again that it's um, it's pretty flexible. So the next program or next problem that I'm going to look at is also from uh, Mag uh, Math Level Two exam. This one <clears throat> is an, actually an arithmetic sequence. The one that we just did was an infinite geometric series. In this case, we're dealing with an arithmetic sequence. So, so let me read the question. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says, if the 20th term of an arithmetic sequence is 100 and the 40th term of the sequence is 250, what is the first term of the sequence? Pretty straightforward problem. I would definitely handle it this way. So press enter and we're going to start. Same question, does this problem have numbers or variables? It has 
it has numbers. So we're going to press no for variables and then we're going to choose option one which is arithmetic sequence. We're going to be prompted again for the terms that we know. In this particular case we know two terms. We know the 20th term and we know the 40th term. So those are the two that we're going to use. So the 20th term, uh, let me make sure this is in the screen. The 20th term is 100. So press enter and then for the value we're going to enter 100. <clears throat> and then for the next term, the next term that we know is the 40th term. And the value for that one is 250. Now, the program's going to prompt you. It's going to say, what value, what term do you want me to find? In this particular instance, we want to find what's the first term. So we enter 1, press Enter, and it tells us <clears throat> that the value of the first term is a negative 42.5. If we look at our options, that would be choice B. We're done. So this program is very flexible and can handle pretty much any type of arithmetic or geometric sequence or series that we have. And I think it's a pretty valuable program to have on your, uh, add to your calculator for either the math subject one or math subject two test or even for the SAT itself. All right, thank you and uh, please subscribe.